with all these superheroes, Avengers, various Marvel characters, I think we got to get in shape. So let's make some dumbbells. Here I am in the opening scene, and I'm going to delete everything. I like to work in cycles. All right, I'm going to press 1 and 5, and Shift A, Mesh, Circle, and we are going to use, I think, 22. Let's turn on screencast keys. Rotate X90. All right, so we're just looking at our circle. Let's go into edit mode. And with the vertices or the edges selected, E and S, pull it in. This is going to make our outer rim. E and S, bring it in again. E and S, slightly smaller. One, this is going to make the inner rim. And then E and S one more time, and that's going to make the hole, just like that. Select Shift Alt and click the outer ring there, and the inner ring, E, and just bring it out a little ways like that. If you get some discoloration, just select it all and Control L to flip uh, your polys. So this is what we have uh, so far. Okay, let's take this. Shift Alt and click that outer ring. And let's go for this inner one here. E and we'll bring them back a little ways like that. I'm going to join that up in just a second. Okay, let's look from three to side view, and I'm going to push this past the 3D cursor, which is right in the middle. And we're going to come over to modifiers. And we're going to add mirror in the Z and make sure we got clipping turned on bring them together, and then just look to get the thickness of the uh, weight that you want to use, and uh, let go, and that's that's good enough. Now, we're going to uh, bevel some of these sharp edges, so I'm going to shift alt and click that edge, and this one, all the 90 degree ones, this one and this one, and this one, I'm going to go control B, and I'm going to pull away just a little bit, and I'm going to roll my mouse wheel up one to put one segment, and that's probably going to be good enough. Let's go ahead and try um, subdivision surface on this, like that. And let's just sharpen this up by going into edit mode and putting in a few edge loops. I'm going to control an R there, and I'm going to slide it up not too far. I want this to look a little bit soft. Another one down here, like that. And we could put um, one here. Let's see how that's looking. I'm going to just press smooth, and we have our superhero weight right there. Okay, cool. So I can come back up, and I'm going to go ahead and apply that mirror. And I can go to edit mode and select it all. Just make sure there's no doubles. Remove doubles. W, remove no doubles. Okay, so that's what we have. Now we're going to create the bar that goes through. So I'm going to shift alt and click that edge, and I am going to hit P and separate by selection. We don't actually need it there, so I'm going to select it there, and I'm going to move it out, out of there. So it's off of this one. All right. Let's, maybe I had another one there, so I'm going to hit dissolve edges and get rid of that one. And I've got my edge right there. Set origin to geometry. Oh, origin to geometry there. So I've got that. Okay. If I press 1, I want to scale this to make sure it's a little smaller than the hole. Just like that. Cool. Go into edit mode and select it. And I'm going to move it back to the back close to the edge. E, and I'm going to come out of way. So I'm going to make that thread-like structure that you stick the weights on. So I'm going to come out a little ways in case I want to put another one on there. And I'm going to select it all. Control N, flip polys. And select the end, then hit E and S, and I come all the way down to the size that I want for a little hole. I'm gonna hit E and I'm gonna push in. And I'm gonna hit E and I'm gonna go mesh faces grid fill. And I'm gonna choose maybe one as small as I can. Now we need some edges, so I'm gonna shift alt and click that edge and this one. We do have subdivision surface on, so it's a little weird, so I'll turn it off. And then control B, pull back. And I'm going to put one segment in there. Good. Let's go back to subdivision surface. All right, so you can see what we got here. I'll hit smoothing as well. And that's okay. 
Now, I think I'm going to slide one more edge loop down here just to tighten that up a little bit. So I've got that going on. And I'm going to go back in edit mode and shift alt and click that edge. And let's push it through the weight. And when the weight goes on, there's going to be some little stopping device that's going to prevent it from going all the way down the handle. So here's what I like to do. I like to go E and S, bring it out, but not as wide as this. So I want to be able to see that through. And then I'm going to hit E, and I'm going to pull out a little ways, like that. I'm going to hit E, pull out, but then go S, like this. We'll start making the handlebar, and we'll tighten this up in a second. So E, come out a little ways, and then E, and more. So we've got an edge loop in there, because we're going to need it. Uh, it's starting to, to take shape, but let's hide this, select it in H, and come back in. Slide an edge loop down to here doesn't have to go right to the end. Slide an edge loop in here. And maybe one more up here. Not too tight. Like that. And we might need another. Well, we're going to be doing some work on it. Okay. So let's uh, bring back our weight. And you can see that this piece would push against it. I can slide this down now. And imagine that it makes contact. Now, on this part, we're going to make the thread. So let's... Uh, create an edge loop and slide it in, uh, not all the way down. Um, we're just defining a region where we're going to make the thread. It doesn't really matter where it is. Now that we have that, I'm going to go Control R in this area, roll my mouse up as many times as I want. Okay. And then I'm going to Control B and pull to make some thickness, like something like that. E and Alt S and pull out a little ways. And you, we have the yeah, if you don't like that, it's too thick. Let's go back, add an edge loop to define my region. Control R, a bunch of them. Okay, Control B. Maybe I'll make them a little thinner. What happened there? Control B. There we go. A little thinner, maybe like this. E, Alt S, come out. There you go. Very nice. Okay, now it's time to make the star-like structure that's going to hold the weights onto this bar. So I'm going to make sure I've got it selected. Uh, origin of geometry. I'll bring cursor to that. Shift A, bring in a circle, and I'm going to use 12 vertices. Rotate X 90, and let's go Control 1 to look from the back. Go into edit mode and S to scale, and bring it down to around the size of that inner ring there. Okay, I'm going to go into Vertex Selection, and if they're not selected, select them all, and come down to uh, Select Checker, Deselect, and with the default values of 2 and 1, I'm going to hit S, and I'm going to scale, I'm going to bring it in until it pretty much touches this middle part. I'm going to select the whole thing, actually, and bring it in front there, so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, with these inner ones uh, selected, the ones that I pulled in like that. I'm going to go Control Alt B to bevel. Control Alt B and just pull so that they separate. And I'm just getting a little bit hard to see. Just like that. And then I'm going to come back out to these ones, select them all. So I'm holding Shift and select just the outer ones. And once again, Control Alt B, pull until they just separate like that. Select everything and go E and S and pull in. Uh, some of the polys may be flipped, so select it all and Control N, and then reselect that edge by going Control uh, Shift Alt and click E and S again. But now I'm going to go W Loop Tools Circle, and Loop Tools is an add-on that you should have, and it'll convert that into a circle. Now you may have to make sure that these vertices are inside of these ones. Sometimes they're on the outside, so let's hit Control One again and look. And uh, I'm going to adjust the size of all this in a bit, so I'm going to go E and S one more time. And I'm going to select everything, and I'm going to scale it so that I can see that bar right there, just like that. Now, that's actually going to be a bit big, I think, for the star. So what I'm going to do is, what am I going to do? Well. I think we'll start out with that. I'm going to hit E to extrude and pull it back to give it some thickness. 
select it all and flip polys and let's give it a try let's bring it back to here and i wouldn't mind it a bit smaller than that so let's go back in and have a look at what we can do okay so here's what we can do we can scale it all down to the size we like maybe something like that i'll bring it out again and let's just grab that inner stuff so select face selection shift and click there and there and I may have to go out one more and looking there I'm gonna hit S but not in the Y shift Y S shift Y and start bringing it out like that I'm gonna get my selection a little smaller I'm gonna go control minus and I'm gonna just widen the circle S shift Y one more time smaller selection S shift Y and there I can see the bar through. Set my origin to geometry and bring that through. Let's go ahead and put a subdivision surface on this. And we may have to increase the size a little bit so that it actually fits over the thread itself. A little bit more work to do. Let's add two edge loops here. Roll my mouse up and scale in the Y and that'll bring them out equally to the, towards the edges to sharpen that up. All right, cool. Let's also take off subdivision for a moment. See this row of polys or this ring of polys right there? Let's E and bring them out like that to form that structure. But we'll need some uh, edge loop speveling. So let's select that edge and that edge, the sharp edges and control B. Pull them back a bit, put maybe one segment, and put turn on subdivision again. We'll see if I need, I think I'll need an edge loop right here. Just to keep that a little bit under control. Okay, not bad, not bad. Let's push this back a little bit further as if that would hold it there. Oh. Okay, polys are definitely going up. Now, if you wanted to do another weight, you could just take this Shift D, pull it out. Let's hide the star. Select it, I'm gonna look from the back again. And let's have a look at this. Now, I want to keep this and the, the size of the hole. I just wanna make this a little bit narrower. So I'm gonna Shift Alt and click here and here for the top center polys and then I can go control plus control plus a bunch of times to expand my selection to about there I don't think I want those so control minus to about there look from the back and I want to scale this but not in the Y direction I don't want it thinner okay so scale shift Y bring it down about maybe halfway the distance of this and we can see how that looks and now you have two you could make it thinner if you did want to scale Y. You know, it's a little bit thinner like that. And now it starts to overlap the thread, but that's okay. Alt H, bring back your star, and let's push it close. And now you have an Avenger style weight. Now, we are going to make the other side, so we're going to take this. I'm going to look from three to the side. I'm going to go Shift D rotate Z 180 and I'm going to slide it down to around the position that I want I want this a one-handed curl type thing so I think that's a decent position so I'm going to select both of them and control J to join them we'll go into edit mode and in edge selection shift alt and click that edge and that edge and control E bridge edge loops deselect and then shift alt and click those edges we're going to use them scale in the y and we're going to make a little holding section so bring them out to as far as you want and then in face selection i'm going to shift alt and click there and i'm going to indent this a bit e alt s push up not too much you know something like that and then put in two more edge loops and scale in the y and bring them out towards the end not right at the end another edge loop here 
close to the end and another edge loop here close to the end let's have a look at that so that's where you would hold it all right now let's copy all of this stuff to the other side select it all shift D rotate Z 180 and slide it out and position it where you like polys have certainly gone up but hey this is marble type stuff and ambient occlusion on under shading matte cap if you like that kind of look and I think we're done I mean you can always rotate this rotate Y to make it a little bit different but nobody's gonna care you are a superhero all right so there we go